Are you thinking of buying new construction in Knoxville, Tennessee, or anywhere in that case? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer a question that you probably have, and that is, do I need an agent to buy new construction? And we're going to get started. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to All Things Knoxville with me, Ben Barreto, your local real estate pro and relocation expert for East Tennessee. Before we jump into today's video topic, I want to remind you, as always, I make videos like this every single week. So if you like this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then share this video with someone that or with people that you think will get a kick out of it. And just share it because it would be awesome if you shared it on like your Facebook, social media, help me grow my audience. Also, I love making videos, but the way I pay bills is to sell real estate. So if you're here because you're thinking of buying a house or selling a house, whether here in East Tennessee or somewhere else, give me a call. I help people across this country every day and I'd love to help you too. Now with that said, let's jump in today's video. Buyers agents are real estate agents that represent the home buyer in a home purchase. A real estate agent becomes your buyer's agent once you sign a buyer's agency agreement with their firm. Once that happens, they will have certain duties to you that are that all work towards protecting your best interests during the home transaction. The concept of a buyer's agent has been in existence in the real estate world for at least 25 years, but not everyone realizes that you need your own representation when purchasing new construction. A buyer's agent is there to protect you, so make sure you have one. And here are some things that a buyer's agent may do for you during your new home purchase. They can help advise you on the neighborhood, location, picking the right lot, upgrades, plan modifications, etc. That they can help with reviewing and understanding builder contracts and maintaining paperwork, advising you on the importance of independent home inspections, connecting you with a proven inspector, and helping you decide which inspections to consider. For example, like pre drywall final, radon, etc. They can connect you with a good lender and an attorney if you choose not to work with the builder's preferred lender and an attorney or attorney or title company. They can provide you with professional guidance and having someone in your corner along the way. And of course, much more than that. When you walk into a model home or sales trailer, you're typically met by a new home salesperson or their assistant. These folks are usually true professionals and they will welcome you with open arms but their job is to sell you their product, a new home. They are also very knowledgeable on that product and, pe and can be a great resource. A new home sales rep won't necessarily advise you against purchasing one of their lots that may back up to a power line, or they may not discourage you from getting unnecessary upgrades that could cost you tens of thousands of dollars. And they're definitely not gonna fight on your behalf if the construction personnel don't want to deal with issues you come across. They're going to be on the side of the builder. So you should always have your own representation. They have theirs. You should have yours. In order for a builder to put their homes for sale on the MLS, they must offer some form of compensation to a buyer's agent. That's an MLS rule. The MLS is the multiple listing service and it is such a powerful tool because that's the main database of all homes for sale across any given region. Once a home goes on the MLS, that data can then trickle down to all the other real estate companies and agent sites like Zillow, Realtor.com, and uh, Redfin. You can see what a massive amount of exposure that can bring to a builder, but they have to offer compensation in order to get this kind of exposure. So when a realtor says that we're paid by the builder, that's what they are referring to. With that being said, why would you not bring your own representation as a buyer? Because our services as a buyer's agent are free to you. It would be natural to think that a builder might be saving money if you showed up unrepresented. And then perhaps they can just give some of that would-be compensation back to you in the form of extra upgrades or lower prices perhaps. Well, it doesn't really work that way. You see, the builders already have that compensation built into their budget and expenses. And if you don't bring your own representation, they'll just pocket it, so to speak. In a new home deal, everyone is working towards the same goals typically. And that's to get you to the closing table with a smile on your face. However, 
only one person at that table is making sure that you get everything you want and that's going to be your buyer's agent. Before I go to the last point, if you haven't seen it yet, check out my driving tour video. In this one, I take you through Farragut, Tennessee and show you five popular subdivisions near Farragut Primary Elementary School, one of the best rated elementary schools in East Tennessee. So just click again right here. And also, if you're interested in Tennessee, you should download my relocation guide, which can be found by going into the description and following that link. When you walk into a new home sales office, they'll typically ask you to register. They'll ask for your contact information, how you found them, an agent's name if you have one, and hopefully by now you're convinced that you do need your own representation. And if so, also note that you need to put your agent's name down during this registration process. While many builders may not have a problem with you doing so at some point down the road, others do have an issue with it. A few builders have a rule that if you don't register your agent at the first visit, they'll refuse to compensate them, leaving you the option of paying your realtor yourself or going in with no representation. Neither sounds like a great option, does it? If you're thinking of buying new home construction in Knoxville or the surrounding areas, I suggest that you reach out to me as early as possible and let's start with a friendly conversation. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.